Hey guys, it's the Regular Dane. So I've got an LG fridge here. This is model LFXS30766D. And anyway, this is a double door French door, so this is gonna be pretty similar if you're having this issue. And obviously from the title, the fridge is not cooling. So if you've checked your compressor in the back and you don't have any frost or uh, icing back here, or if your freezer is working properly, then it's probably gonna be the fan and the motor that's right behind this, um, this piece of plastic right here, and that's what we're gonna replace. So after you get your food out, just remove your shelves. Take out the middle drawer first, then the side drawers. You can remove this whole piece, turn it sideways, and the bottom drawer. Out. Up here you've got a fresh flow, uh, it's really just a circulator to, to clean out your air in the fridge. It's got a filter. So this fan comes on and off when you close the door, but that's not really what we're after. So you got two pieces of plastic right here, pop that off, pop that off. We're going to take one screw, two screw and a third screw right here. So get those three. Then this will tip forward. And you can turn it to the side. The side you'll see your coil for the fridge. If this is iced up, then this is probably your issue and you need to defrost the whole, you know, take all, out all your food and then let this big chunk of ice melt and then dry it off. But this is what we're replacing right here. This is the fan that has stopped working. So again, this is the model number for this fridge, but this is probably gonna have a pretty similar uh, part number. So this is EAU 64824401. And it's basically just a plug and play. I'm gonna remove this, sh this gray shroud right here with one two, three, four screws, and then we'll unplug the wires and plug it back in. Now, if you wanna do a test, just set up a camera or your phone in here, press the record button, close the door, and then see if this will start spinning. If it's not spinning, even after two or three minutes, then your fan is not working and it's not flowing air from the coils to make your fridge cool. Okay, so once you take out these four screws, we'll just lift this up. One more screw is holding in this plastic piece right here. Okay, and once you pull that out, then, let's see, here we go. Then here is the fan and motor, so we'll take this tape off here. The first thing you wanna do is unplug the power to make sure you don't short anything out while you're messing with electrical. Unplug your power to be safe. Okay, so here's the all you all you do is press this button right here and pull apart just like that. And here is the old fan. Take this new one, plug it back in. Boom. Just like that. And put this back in the right spots okay so one edit on this video is if you're when you put this motor in you actually need to take these out right here these are shock absorbers take all three of these off and you put them on the new one so if your motor starts moving around this is what you need to do. Let's see, where's the... Now when you put them in here, it will stay in place. Then you'll take your plastic shroud, oops, you'll take your plastic shroud and put it on. Let's get the gray shroud back on. 
and then we'll secure it back with some tape. Okay, so then just use your camera and set it up with your light on and then hit your video button. Turn it on and just set it in here just to do a test to make sure that it's running. And we'll close the door and see what we got. Okay, let's see if it's spinning. All right, look at that right there. It is spinning, I opened the door and it stopped. Let's review the footage just to check it out. So about 23 seconds it turned on from closing the door. So we are good to go. Obviously if your compressor is still good, it is sending cold air through these coils. From the coils then the fan is blowing into the fridge which obviously cools your food. So one thing you may that may tip you off is if you look right here, if you ever have condensation or water, this is, goes into the ice maker, your fridge sh shouldn't be wet. There shouldn't be droplets of water anywhere in your fridge because that's what the fridge does. It takes out moisture out of the air. Just make sure all your parts and pieces line up and your holes line up. Screw it here. There we go. Put your shelves back in and your food and you should be good to go. So anyway, this is an LG. Could be a common problem. If your fridge isn't cooling, that's probably the issue. Hope this video helped. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.